Hi, at long last, the kit for the 5 star Ting Yun has been finally revealed. There has been a lot of speculation on what her kit will be with a general consensus on Exo Toughness, which the latest version of MLC's Memory Turbulence literally confirms. But now that the first version of Fugue's kit is out, here's a quick video going through her abilities and simplifying it down. Before we start, I'll be giving away a supply pass slash welcome moon to my subscribers at 6k subs, so make sure you subscribe to enter. Quick disclaimer, this is the first initial version of our kit, so everything is subject to change, but with that out of the way, let's begin. Fugue is a 5 star fire unit following the path of nihility. The main focus of Fugue's kit is a talent, Fortune Follows Where Virtue Spreads. This talent makes it so whenever Fugue is in the team, the enemies have extra toughness and attacks to weakness broken enemies become super break. For those that don't know what extra toughness is, well to put it simply, it's just another toughness bar after the initial toughness bar. So if you break your enemy, everything that happens to a normal break will happen, but just this time, there's an extra purple toughness bar that is weaker but allows you to trigger weakness break again. And other than that, we get a similar buff to the Harmony MC's ultimate, which creates Super Break. However, this time, it doesn't just mention Super Break for one time, but 100% of Super Break's damage. While nothing is known for sure as of now, this could mean, for example, something like it has better synergy with the Iron Cavalry set, or there will be other ways to buff it. With a talent out of the way, the next important part of a kit is a skill, Virtue Beckons Bliss. This skill increases the break effect of one ally and makes their attacks also reduce the target's defense lasting for 2 turns. This buff lasts for 3 or Fugue's turn and additionally, it also makes her basic become enhanced. A very basic skill, but that does not mean that it's not very strong and overloaded. Having the ability to apply defense when your DPS attacks while increasing their break effect means that there is virtually no downtime on her buffs slash debuffs. And not only that, for some reason, they gave her an enhanced basic attack as well, just to further increase her value. Overall, this is a very strong skill, with maybe the only caveat being if the defense down is applied after the attacker's attack. Then it's a bit awkward, as that means that the first attack will not be buffed. And as for the empower basic attack, it's just blast over a single target. Moving on, we get to her ultimate, Solar Splendor Shines Upon All, which simply does damage to all enemies and reduce toughness regardless of element. Next, we get to her technique, Percipient Shine, which dazes enemy and when entering the battle, Fugue is advanced forward while applying the same defense down on her skill. Now for her major traces. TLDR, the first one delays the enemies when weakness broken, the second one increases her own break effect and gains a skill point after using her skill for the first time, and the last one increases all allies break effect when enemy gets weakness broken. Finally, her Adelons. E1 increases the break efficiency of the buff target from the skill, E2 gets energy whenever an enemy is weakness broken, and her ultimate now advances everyone forward. Do note, this is not 100%, so it does not gain a turn, so therefore meaning that it is not guaranteed that all units will get a turn before the enemies if you use this. E4 basically gives her skill target more damage, and E6 increases her own break efficiency while making all allies gain the skill buff. So yeah, overall, Fugue is looking like the premier limited 5 star super break buffer that we have all waited for. She is slightly overdue as version 2 point something is coming to an end very soon, so I was surprised to see a power up version of HMC coming so late. But as they say, better late than never. Anyways, back to her actual kit, generally speaking, it is looking pretty flushed out. Everything seems to be in line in terms of a quote unquote Firestar HMC. She definitely will outshine HMC as a super break buffer, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing as A, HMC is literally a free unit so there's no shame in power creeping her, and B, you can now use super breaks on both half. But with that being said, the extra toughness and the insane buffs should make her one of the stronger units in the game. While clearly Fugue will further propel break team's power level, I am more interested in what new goofy teams I can play with her as that super break and extra toughness will definitely carry the team a lot. Other than that, I'm just super excited to see finally a 5 star limited version of a super break buffer.